know you guys were probably waiting for a Tuberville uh, topper, but I don't have one for you today. Amr, hi, good to see you. Good to see you. The administration has been critical of Senator Tuberville with his holds on military promotions because of social policy and saying that he is harming military readiness. On the flip side of that impasse, and this is something that Republican lawmakers have raised, why is the new DOD policy on abortion critical to military readiness? I'm really glad you asked that question. No, I mean, I really am. One in five members of the U.S. military are women. 20% are now being passed, are absolutely having an effect on their willingness to continue serving in uniform or to encourage or discourage, in this case, their spouses from continuing service. So if you don't think there's going to be a retention and a morale issue, think again. Because yeah, thank you. See ya. And Admiral, I want to say thank you for, for your service and raising your hand. Dignity and respect. That, that was um, really important. Thank you. Oh, now, now the mic works. <laughs> On Tuberville, after President Biden made those remarks in Helsinki, the senator said that there's no chance of changing my position if we don't sit down and visit. So why doesn't the president sit down with him, try to hash this out? Why does the senator continue to do something that is that has been done in the past in a historically bipartisan way? Why? Why make this a political? Why politicize and make it partisan? That is something that this senator, Senator Tuberville, to be to be specific, has done. To be clear, when the president said that he would sit down with Tuberville if he thought there was any possibility he would change his ridiculous position, that was the president saying no. What I'm saying is this has been historically a historically bipartisan bill, uh, and so which has been made recklessly partisan. That's what I'm saying, and it's hurting our ability to recruit. It's hurting our ability to retain the strongest and most diverse uh, military that we have in the world. Any expectation that at the congressional picnic tonight, your two most frequently mentioned of late uh, Republicans, uh, Senator Tuberville or Marjorie Taylor Greene, would be in attendance? And has the president made any effort to encourage them, uh, especially Tuberville, to, to come for even a casual relationship building moment over the impasse you have with on the military policy. So I don't have a list of who's attending. As you know, there, there are a lot of members, <laughs> uh, at least in the House, and certainly um, uh, about a, you know, 100 senators on the other side. Uh, look, you know, I, I get the question, and, and I know this is coming from um, uh, the press conference from last week in Helsinki and the president's comments, but we also have to be very clear that what Senator Tupperville is doing is unprecedented. It is something uh, holding holding these uh, nominations as we look at, you know, we're going to continue to call out, call that out. Uh, I mean, the president should not have to call the senator to tell him to stop putting our military readiness in harm's way.